Welcome back friends. This is Solomon Jagwe. I am back with an, an amazing, amazing an announcement uh, from Adobe. Uh, today Adobe made an um, incredible announcement uh, that I think is going to change the way we do filmmaking. So let's watch a little bit of this video so you can see some of uh, the new things that are coming to Adobe Premiere Pro. So I don't know how many of you use Adobe Premiere Pro, but I've been using Adobe Premiere Pro from the very beginning. And uh, I love using After Effects, but I think the real-time editing in Adobe Premiere Pro is really, really awesome. So first of all, you all may be already aware of uh, Adobe Firefly. It's their uh, AI engine, right, which enables you to generate content using text you know best inputs so here what they're showing is you being able to go into a like a footage that you've made right so in this scene right here they have this case that has uh, diamonds but they look sparse and i think if as a director when you're making when you're writing a script you know of course you're thinking about the budget like how many diamonds can i fit in a suitcase and of course most movies they use artificial diamonds right what if you wanted to show uh, the diamonds to be in even more than they were right so you don't have the budget but you can actually increase uh, the number of uh, gems that are in a suitcase. So you can do this in this version of Adobe Premiere Pro that is coming. So watch this. So they're able to select that. And then using Adobe Firefly, which is now going to be built into Adobe Premiere Pro, you enter a prompt, a pile of large diamonds on black velvet cloth, and then using Adobe Firefly and AI, you're able to generate... And then it gives you like several options, you know, and then you pick whichever number, of, uh, like the, whichever one looks the best. But look at that. And what's incredible is that this is tracked. So you don't even have to do tracking yourself. It has the diamond and then you're able to play back the footage in real time. And it looks like there's no delay in uh, like the processing. That is going to change the way we do uh, like video editing, you know. So if uh, if any of you are kind of reluctant to consider using artificial intelligence, I think uh, I don't know how you can get around this when it's like a tool that's available in Adobe Premiere Pro, right? Think of how much time this has saved the, the director, the producer. Instead of having to go out and buy diamonds, now they're able to just, uh, <laughs> you know, generate the diamonds that they want, right? And so another feature that they've, uh, they're adding that's coming in 2024 is the ability to remove objects while you're editing footage. This is not a still image. This is actual footage. And so now this menu that you see on the left-hand side, that might actually be the same as what's released or it might actually be different it might they might change it but between now and then this is how they are demonstrating that you can use adobe firefly to then look at a, a like process the video and it looks like it's highlighting different elements within a video and then you're able to remove the object of footage which means that it's doing its own internal tracking and then you're able to almost like do uh, content aware, but using footage. But look at that. So you're able to select that and then you're able to remove an object, right? So the value of this is amazing. Like if you're out there that you're shooting on set somewhere, like you don't really have to worry so much about th little things here and there that might bother you. If there is a, a, a location that you've scouted and you know there's going to be like some pause of, you know, power lines or whatever, or maybe there's some dirt, but you love the environment and you have the luxury of being able to later on edit it out, right? Now, something I noticed is that when it removes it, it doesn't fix like the the uh, brick wall uh, this is like concrete but i think this is gonna get better and i'm hoping and i, I hope that it gets better so when it does that removal it, it actually does uh, the content aware and it's it's able to fill up that you know so that it's more seamless but that's amazing because it has tracked now look at that so 
here you're able to change the context of a shot. Like if you don't want that cafeteria, you're able to remove it and it looks beautiful and it is tracked, you know? That is what's amazing. So this here's another shot and there's like a backpack, some, no, it's like tables off, off to the uh, corner, top right hand corner over here. And you're able to remove it and you have a clean, <laughs> like, you know, so foot source of uh, video that you want to show in your film and it's removed easy, just like that, right? And look at this. So here you have a watch, right? And, and the face of the watch, if it has like a brand, that you maybe a company that hasn't sponsored your film, you could remove that brand and replace it with a new type of watch face. And then you're not having to run into copyrights, but maybe later on you can pull it back. <laughs> and if someone wants to sponsor your, your video or your like your movie, you know how like sometimes you watch a movie and you see billboards flying by, right? This is incredible. You'll be able to replace. You can go back after the fact and either replace it using uh, the Adobe Firefly video model. I think this is mind blowing and it's gonna change the way we tell stories, the way we edit movies. It's really, really incredible, all right? And then you have this before. So imagine you have your talent who you've uh, hired and they don't have the correct clothing that they were supposed to wear. Or maybe your budget doesn't even permit to, you don't, you have a tight budget. But look what you can do. If you wanted to add a tie on this character, boom, you're able to do that with a AI, with the Adobe Firefly video model. This is like amazing, you know. I think budgets are going to change and as of, of course, I'm always thinking about like film festivals when you get to like uh, submit movies. But when you get, we, if we get to a point where you have, you're able to submit movies, even if it, parts of it have been generated with AI, this is going to change the way we do, like with the way movies are shot. Like budgets are really going to change. You don't have to worry so much about the outfits if after the fact you can change the outfit and fill out fill it out it's it's amazing all right here's another shot right and this is what like imagine you have uh, m multiple cameras that you're shooting uh, this scene with you can easily extend a piece of footage now with the uh, this upcoming version of adobe premiere pro powered by the adobe firefly video model you're able to stretch this move this uh video using firefly <laughs> adobe firefly and the content aware and so there are multiple engines that they are talking about including in this one and here i'm looking at uh, adobe firefly so you're able to if there's a space that doesn't have enough footage you're able to extend that and make it even longer and that is again gonna be amazing in terms of our uh, time saving so Yes, there are going to always be issues of, uh, you know, concern of the source of this footage. And I'm hoping that Adobe stays true to what they've been saying all along, that they're going to try to be, to use integrity when they are, when it comes to using source, like the data set, where this is coming from, that the artists are paid, the videographers are paid, so that this is not an issue. And being able to extend this, is amazing and uh, Adobe Firefly, I, I think it's maturing because what they're demonstrating here is amazing. The ability to edit footage, extend it, add additional you know, like minutes, you know, <laughs> it's incredible. And I think I'm thinking about our kids as they're growing and even those who are going to university now, the things that you're gonna be learning when it comes to video editing are gonna be totally different from things that we learned. You know, this is incredible, incredible the way the technology is advancing so fast. So here you have another shot and you don't have it. Like if you weren't, didn't have enough time or didn't have enough budget, the budget wasn't big enough for you to be able to edit, rather to shoot this plate, you can extend it. You know, you can trim it and use this uh, Adobe Firefly and you can incorporate new other models like Pika to extend the footage using artificial intelligence you know so you, not only will you be able to use F adobe firefly but you'll be able to use additional models they of course they're partnering with these uh, other companies like uh for example sora 
they're going to be incorporating Sora in it, right? So OpenAI, they are, it looks like they're going to have a partnership with OpenAI. You've all have seen some of these videos that have been shared by OpenAI, where you're able to generate uh, these incredible videos from uh, Open, like OpenAI and uh, Sora. And now to see this incorporated inside of uh, Adobe Premiere is amazing. This is, an, and I think, an awesome partnership. But I don't know how well, you know, the Adobe community is going to take this, seeing that uh, already uh, OpenAI is raising hackles in terms of uh, the artist community. But this is amazing. So you, they'll be able to incorporate Runway as well. And that is another thing that uh, I think these partnerships are going to extend Adobe Premiere Pro. You almost saw this coming. You knew Adobe was going to do this, right? Because I remember when Adobe need, didn't have motion capture, like they ended up buying Mixamo so that they could incorporate motion capture into Animate, Adobe Animate and all those, right? So I see Adobe growing, you know, and ex using their, like the wealth of uh, resources in terms of, uh, of course, funding, uh, the user base in this data sets. Because as you're using Adobe Photoshop, I don't know if you know this, but you could actually, be, they, they could be using that to train their models as well. So I think they have like a great a great foundation to be able to do this effectively. And Adobe Premiere Pro, because it's real time, we don't have to wait for like like processing online. This is on your computer. I guess if you have like a good GPU, this is gonna be even faster, right? So this is all text based that you see here with Brandway Incorporated, and then you're able to pick and add to the timeline. This is I keep looking at this and I'm thinking, my goodness, the way we edit movies is going to change forever. Uh, gone are the days uh, of the old Adobe Premiere <laughs> Pro <laughs> to a new version of Adobe Premiere Pro powered by Adobe Firefly video model and you have object removal. So this is before and then the after. You see how they were able to remove that uh, the frame on the wall? It's amazing. This is mind blowing that they will be able to do this. And <laughs> guys, let me know what you think. I would love to hear your thoughts and what you think of this upcoming version of Adobe Premiere Pro. Are you gonna be excited to use it in your uh, the editing of your films? Will you be able to incorporate? Do you look forward, or you won't even be considering using it at all? I would love to hear that in the. Please share your thoughts because I my mind is uh, just. I don't know. There's so many thoughts that are going through my brain right now. I'm seeing the future. I'm seeing the like uh, the application of this technology, but I also see how things are going to change when it comes to jobs. You know, you know, as an editor, as a film director, as an artist, I think this is going to be another skill set that you're going to need to have to be able to, I guess, be relevant in this uh, ed editing the new era of editing using Adobe Premiere Pro powered by this uh, Adobe Firefly video model. You know, it's incredible. And I think this is going to, of course, jobs are going to be affected. A lot of people's jobs are going to be affected, but I think it's also going to empower others who are already good at editing to quickly change footage that you may have shot yourself to be able to uh, like, fix it, improve on it, extend it, you know, there's so many things that uh, I think this is going to do for film, like short films and those who are storytellers, you know. So anyway, thank you so much, guys, for joining me today. I really, really appreciate all your support. Thank you for getting me to help me get to over uh, 265,000 subscribers. I'm going to continue to share the things that I, I come, I encounter. And I'm, as I was always, guys, I've already shared with you before, I'm always looking for ways that we can tell our stories uh, in more efficient ways, but also to be able to look around and see what tools are on the, uh, right, the landscape right now that have shown up that are gonna be able to help us to tell our stories uh, like efficiently, uh, convincingly, right? And I think seeing this from Adobe uh, <laughs> Firefly, the video model, and also Adobe Premiere Pro. So I am hoping that this is going to be available to those who already have the subscription. I'm hoping they won't have to pay more for this. Like it will already be part of it. But I imagine it might be worth it. 
and yeah, it's incredible what you people are going to be able to do with this and of course i can't wait to test it out when it comes out in better so that i can share it with you again thank you so much for joining me today uh, today we're talking about uh, adobe premiere pro the upcoming version that is coming in 2024 where they're incorporating the adobe firefly video model that enables you to remove uh, extend, uh, augment, uh, like improve. Uh, there's so many things that they're going to be able to do and to be able to bundle that with Pika, with Runway, with Sora. It's amazing. Uh, what a time to be alive. It's It sounds scary, challenging. At the same time, it's exciting. But I can see already that this is going to impact us in ways that we can't even imagine. You know, filmmaking is going to be, it's going to change. Tools are going to come. I think no matter what happens, uh, the best thing we can do is find a way to learn how to use these technologies as much as possible and of course to do it ethically so that uh, uh and i'm trusting i'm hoping that uh, adobe does this ethically as well so thank you so much guys uh please stay safe i uh, dare to dream big don't give up on your dream no matter what you do guys uh, yes it's challenging but please create continue to tell stories continue to write stories and uh, always look up don't uh don't look down and lose focus on how the industry is evolving and improving and growing because you need if you are building a team you're gonna need to be able to uh, educate your team members if they come up with a solution they're gonna ask you as a team leader as an art director as, uh, as the producer uh what else could we how could we uh, apply this how could we improve on this these tools are there. They're gonna. They're not going away. It's just only gonna get better. This is the worst. It's going probably gonna be, and from here on, it's gonna get better and better and better. And I think you will do be do ourselves a, a disservice if we don't learn how to use this now. This is gonna be native to the uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. You know, it's not gonna be web based. This is gonna be on your desktop. You're gonna be able to use this. So, anyways, thank you so much for joining me today. Please stay blessed. As always, I'm praying for you. Bye for now and much love. And thank you so much to all my uh, subscribe, everybody that has subscribed to all my patrons. Thank you for your support. I truly, truly appreciate it. Bye for now and see you in the next video.